closet clean out because technically it's not spring yet but daylight savings was on sunday and so it's time for me to do a closet clean out because i haven't done a closet clean out since july of last year and i thought i would do it with you guys but the lighting's not that great it's literally so cloudy today and rainy it is what it is so let's get into this closet It does look a little bit messy. It does look kind of it. So this is my closet. It's not that bad, but it's still a lot of clothes for one person. So I have just a bunch of clothes up here. Down here are shoes. We're not going to mess with that. And then I have just a really large bin in the bottom. And that just has like a bunch of coats and blankets. And we can look in it a little bit, but I don't really think I'm going to get rid of much down there. And then I also have a dresser with a lot of clothes. The bottoms of my drawers have been falling out because I've been stuffing stuffing them with clothes so that definitely really does need a really good clean out so let's start in here first and then we will move over there i try to like organize my closet a little bit but i'm not really that good at it because once i wear it i just like shove it back in there and i really forget about organization but like usually towards the front i have most of like my itty bitty tops so we can go through those real quick i really like this top i haven't really had a picture in it yet i kind of get into like a really weird vibe where i'm like oh if i wear this one time and i get a picture in it i'm never gonna wear it again which is not good that's not sustainable i don't know why i have that thought in my mind but i haven't taken a picture in it yet so i'm gonna keep it this top it's not all that flattering but i do really really like this lilac color i need itty bitty tops like this to survive this is a top i got from urban a few summers ago i probably had it like two years but it's really good quality and again i love itty bitty tops like this like i don't know it just goes really well you can pair it with a lot of stuff so i'll be keeping that as well i feel like at this point i'm gonna take everything out and i'm gonna be like i want to keep that i want to keep that i want to Channel. this top is kind of see-through and i really don't like animal print i don't know why i got this this top is also from urban only wore it like twice so we will be keeping it because it was like 40 dollars <laughs> So far this is all gonna be donated or sold and then this is all that I'm gonna keep which I didn't really do a good job at like getting rid of stuff because all this stuff is actually like really good quality or like you know it's just never really been worn like that and I, or like my mom bought it and I can't bring myself to get rid of it. I will do a better job when I go through my drawers but for right now we're keeping all of this stuff but we're gonna go ahead and organize them back into my closet. Okay, so I'm gonna organize my closet real quick. So I'm just gonna tell you guys the layout. So all the shirts that are shorter sleeves, small sleeves, whatever, they're gonna go towards the left side of my closet. And then as the sleeves get longer, I'm just gonna kind of lay it out like that. I'm gonna take out all the coats or anything kind of wintry just because it's about to be spring. It's about to be hot girl summer. <laughs> Ooh, I saw 
dollar in every song, in every wrong. Beautiful to see the world that way. You'll say yes to anything, believe in what they say. Take a walk. And every time I know the truth Speaking one way between me and you And I'm far on my own So I wrote this song To serenade the ultraviolets all along She knows everything there is to know and of course she does Just smile and hush And in my eyes I fall asleep Your gracious touch is numbing me My best dark suit I'll wear for free Looking stylish for make-believe Ooh, you're so smart With your ultraviolets Broken silence Ultraviolet anyway. Okay, I did decide to get rid of a few other things and it might not look like much of a dent, but I swear it has been. Look. These are all the leftover hangers and I feel like that's quite enough, honestly. And this is kind of what it looks like now. Alrighty, right now we're down to the bottom of my closet where I have just a very large bin down here and I know I have a few sweaters and stuff in there so I want to check it out before we move on to the drawers. I'm a little bit scared about going in there just because I have really bad like dust sinus or like dust allergies, sinuses, whatever and I get to sneezing and coughing and my nose is all clogged up and it just gets pretty bad. So let's do a little prayer real quick. Okay. Oh yeah, some of this stuff has to go. This is the ugliest dress that... Uh, it's giving very much Caucasian mother. It's giving Lily Pulitzer. It's giving... Actually, this is Johnny Beanie. It was $54. So we're going to try her on and see exactly if she looks cute. If she looks a mess, we're donating her because... We just don't have any space for any more like random things. All right, so this next dress in here, I got it from Lulu's. It was sent to me to do a TikTok over the fall. They had like some homecoming thing. I don't really think I'm going to be wearing it, but I'll keep it just because I haven't really had it that long anyway. And I might be able to wear it to like a birthday dinner or something. So here's some other items that I'm going to get rid of. So there's this top. It's lilac, which is one of my favorite colors, but it's super tight and it just doesn't really fit well. Then there's this dress that I really don't know why I bought this, so gotta go. And then my sister got me this, but I really hate this sweater, so it has to go. Next is this cheetah print like dress. I don't know why I was so obsessed with animal print back in like 2019, but it has to go as well. Another one? Why another one? It has to go. This, it always falls off my chest, so it has to go. Why was like neon colors, highlighter colors a thing? I Why did I buy into that trend? I don't know. This, I've just had it for a really long time. It has to go. This, too short, it has to go. Too small, it just doesn't look very flattering on me. Another highlighter top. Ooh. It's giving summer 2016. I'm so scared of the dust is gonna mess my head up. Oh my god. You guys, I'm currently on the way to Starbucks because I'm so tired. I was so tired in the middle of doing my closet clean out and I need me a little pick me up. So we're going to Starbucks. We're gonna get a salty caramel cold brew with sweet cream foam. Ooh, be hitting. I'm a little hungry too, but I don't know. We'll see. 
we'll see because Starbucks is always out of everything pretty much so We're gonna get started for it. Hello, can I do a grande salty caramel cream cold foam uh cold brew? Okay. What else can I do for you? Um do you have any Danishes? Yeah, what kind of Danish? Uh, chocolate like, or cheese? Cheese. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. I think we might. Let me double check. Okay. You. I'm sorry, we're all out of our cheese Danish. Alrighty, that will be it. Alright, it'll be 525. Thank you. Sure thing. See, I told y'all, they be out. They ain't never have nothing here. They ain't never had nothing here. Ew, they just gave somebody my drink. Good. Yes. Right. Thank, Thank you. You too. <clears throat> I did see her give somebody my drink, but we gonna let it slide. Let's just hope they don't have Corona. This is not we not being a bit of a pickle. Oh, she's so pretty. Let's try here. Mm. 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 Why is it so busy at what the freak? energy re-entering my body and now we're gonna take on these bad boys which are my dresser drawers and let me just say brace yourselves because it's kind of a como se dice mess i'll show you what they look like and in, in particular this drawer this drawer is my lounging clothes and i just have like a bunch of oversized shirts in here but i love just really cozy shirts but look what has happened okay I broke it so i'm hoping my boyfriend could come over this weekend and fix it because look at this this is like insane like actually it's like falling into my other drawers and that's just not good i don't know how i allowed it to get this bad these bottom two drawers are my jeans or like bottoms that i wear to go out and i kind of just want to go through them because they're very packed to the point where they're kind of coming over they're not really closing that well so i kind of just want to go in and see exactly what's going on in there because it's a mess okay and i recently lost like a lot of weight i recently lost like 25 pounds so i'm a little bit scared about like getting rid of stuff because what if i get rid of it and then i gain weight or what if i get rid of it and then i lose more weight and i have nothing that fits okay these are the dilemmas that go on in my head but we're not gonna stress about it because the whole point of this is to clear our air clear our living environment so we can have a clear mind okay if your house is cluttered your mind's gonna be cluttered if your house is kind of like minimalist or at least like you know comfortable and you don't have too much then like your mind's gonna feel the same way so before we get started let's take a sip oh, i found the street of the house in which she's there.
this much jeans this much blue jeans i mean this this and this one looks so similar and then these two look so similar i i just don't know what goes through my brain when i do these things So these jeans, they're super cute. A couple months ago, they literally didn't fit me, and I was not expecting them to fit that well, but I really do like these jeans. They are really good quality, despite them being Target jeans, but I really hate the ankle part, and also I just don't really fancy ripped jeans right now. Like, ripped jeans are just, like, not it for me. <laughs> my giant tv out of the frame jesus hair is the dress i like it's such a pretty color honestly the color is really cute but i just well i feel like i would look cute at the beach in this though or like you know at a beach house ocean front but like why i don't know i just like there's just something about it that just Ooh, it's so pretty from the... It's kind of pretty from the back. Ooh, it's so cute from the back! See, now I'm convincing myself I want to keep this ugly dress. And I know I don't like this dress. Okay, this top is so cute. I don't know why I thought I should get rid of it or sell it, but it's so cute. I feel like I'm gonna put it back in my closet and then I'm never actually gonna wear it. And then the next closet clean out, I'm gonna be like, she gotta go. And then I'm gonna try it on and I'm gonna be like, no, she stays. And then. <laughs> drawers i'm like la la, la this is still fun until i had an insane allergic reaction to the dust and i could not stop sneezing i thought i was going to die and so i stopped cleaning for the day but here's my download here's my thoughts on the closet cleanouts because i love when a video make me take on new perspective so here's my thoughts i think closet cleanouts are great just because like you get to make more space in your closet and you donate your clothes you know hopefully they get rehomed and someone takes it in wear it a lot more than you do wear it for a couple more years that cuts down waste blah, blah blah oh that's great but for me i feel like i was kind of forcing myself to get rid of stuff that i genuinely liked just to make space in my closet i feel like for content creators there's like a certain pressure to not re-wear stuff so once it's on your instagram you take a photo you know someone saw you in it the whole internet saw you in it you're just like i can't wear this again i can't and that's like not okay because that kind of forces you to go out buy more consume more that's not okay like i'm not gonna pretend to be a minimalist i'm not gonna pretend to be extremely sustainable i'm not i'm so glad that i came to the realization that i did this and i now know 
that like that's not okay so i wanted to add that to this video because that's a very important conclusion and i love when doing my own videos you know make me learn something about myself or just like about anything in general <laughs> Don't get me started now Break up, so break down I'm getting money